Hello and welcome to part 3 of From Zero to Hero teaching you C++. In the last lesson we looked at classes closer and the benefits that they have. In the example from the last episode we also found that adding more classes with similar data can include a lot of copying of existing code. In this episode we will look at inheritance which can solve this issue. So what is inheritance? Well to put it simply you can make a class that has x functions and x variables you can then make another class that will inherit all of those functions and variables from the class that you created first. Using our example from the previous lesson, we could make a vehicle class. This class could have a variable called registration. If car and bike were to inherit from vehicle, they would then have that variable registration. If you can imagine that we take all of the function variables from car and bike and put them into vehicle, then adding a new vehicle class, for example bus, would be as easy as creating a new class called bus that inherits from vehicle and saying that it has a different number of wheels. So let's get hands on with this and see how to do it. Firstly, take the previous project and add a new class called vehicle into it. Next, copy every function from the car's header file into the vehicle's header file. Also, don't forget to uh, copy any includes from the car's header file. Now we should write the keyword virtual in front of all of these functions. What virtual means is that if any other class inherits from this class, then they can redefine what this function does. For example, if you had a video game with two different types of enemies, one that moves left and right and the other that moves up and down, you could have a virtual function called move in the base enemy class. Then in your inherited vertical class, you could redefine the move function to move the enemy vertically, and in the horizontal enemy class, you could redefine it to move horizontally. Even though in car and bike we probably won't be redefining all of these functions, Putting virtual in, in front of them gives us the option to do so later if we need to. Next, let's copy all of the variables from car and put them into vehicle. However, this time, put them into protected, not private. We all know that public means that any part of the code can access the variable or function, and private means that only this object can access it. Protected means that only this object and classes that inherit from this object have access to it. So why do we want this? This means that any variable that needs to be in both car and bike can be put into vehicle and both classes will have access to it. Now we should copy all of the code from the CPP of car into vehicle, renaming it as needed. However, do not set the number of wheels in the constructor and when it comes to the print function, just leave it empty. Next, in car and bike CPPs and header files, we should delete all the function and variables except the print function, the constructor, and the destructor.
We can also delete the includes of string from the header file of bike and car. And don't forget to copy from car or bike the IO stream include into vehicle CPP. So how do we actually inherit from vehicle? Well, if we go back into car header or bike header, include vehicle, and then after the class declaration of car or bike, add colon public vehicle. This is what makes you inherit everything from vehicle. You may be asking why is it public, not private or protected? They do make a difference, but it's quite complicated and you won't need it for this level of programming. I'm going to do the same in bike now. Now you'll see if we run the program again that nothing has changed. I did what I said that we shouldn't do and deleted the print function from car and bike. Okay, we'll try again. So as you can see, nothing's changed, but now adding a new type of vehicle, for example a bus, would be a much easier process. We'd just have to copy what we've got in bike or car, which isn't exactly much code. So next time we'll look at constructors, containers and loops.